Hey, I'm back. I'm doing content again. I decided I'm gonna do it my way this time. That's about it. Okay, I'm joking. If you've been wondering where I've been, the last two weeks or so I've taken a hiatus to reconnect with everything that I care about in life. If you saw the intro, been listening to some Don Henley, been driving, been hiking, been cooking, been hanging out with my friends, my family, my girlfriend. I've been living life and taking a break and it's honestly been great and very much needed. But I have that itch in me that I've had forever. Um, I've been reef keeping since I was 12 and I turned 24 today. So I've been doing it for more than a decade now and I can't stop. It's something that I'm passionate about, that I've loved my entire life. So during this two week period, I thought, am I gonna stay in the industry? Am I gonna go work here? Am I gonna work there? What am I gonna do? And I decided to follow my heart. I decided that I wanted to do something that I would be proud of and that I would make something that I don't think has been made in the industry so far, at least not successfully. So uh, where does this all begin? Begins with a lot of introspection while on the road and while in the forest. I thought back to my failures and my successes as a reef keeper and as a person. When I began reef keeping, I grew up um, in the middle of the woods, off grid, in a small town called Tonganoxie, Kansas. I had really limited internet access and I didn't have a local club, a local shop, or anyone I knew that had a reef tank. It was something I loved and my parents surprised me by getting me one and I had to learn the ropes. Just I had a reef tank in front of me, bought off a person off of Craigslist and I was 12 and had to figure it out. Trial and error, time, the limited internet I did have was mostly spent on Reef Central and Yahoo Answers, believe it or not, and I read a lot of books. It was a lot of work, but it was something that I loved. Later on in life, in college, I decided to pursue an academic interest in coral disease. I worked for several years with microbiologists, analytical chemists, biochemists, molecular biologists, almost everyone in my small science department. I talked to and asked questions. But still, I was left alone. None of them had interest or any knowledge of coral, especially coral disease or the coral microbiome, being in a small university in Kansas. I was back to that mentality that I had as a 12-year-old. I had to work, I had to figure out the answers on my own, and I had to persevere. And then I took a job at one of the giants of the industry, Reef Builders. While there, I had to navigate the complex politics of the industry, learn how to reliably transmit information, navigate sponsorship agreements, and I didn't know or hadn't used most of the gear that I had to review. It was something that I had to review myself because I had never had hands-on experience with it. It was that same feeling that I had always come back to of I wish someone was here to give me the answers, whether it had been setting up my first tank, answering the complexities of the coral microbiome, or telling me what gear was good, bad, or ugly. So I thought back and I thought, when was reefing the most enjoyable to me? When was I most successful? And it was when I had other people to lean on, when I had my first mentors, my first local fish stores, my first jobs where I worked at fish stores and uh, the managers and other staff helped me immerse myself in the industry side, the leadership and everyone I met on my path at Reef Builders. And of course, the other coral scientists and academics I've now connected with and immerse myself in, um, with, in, terms of, in terms of science. There's been friends, there's been mentors, there's been family, there's been people that I've grown to really appreciate in this world that I've met through this hobby. And they all helped me succeed when previously I didn't have a lot of people. I realize that sometimes not everyone gets to have those interactions. Sometimes people are like me when I was a kid, when I was at Reef Builders, when I was working in university and doing research. Sometimes there's not really anyone there and there's no one to give it to you straight when it comes to advice and information. That's why I decided to create this company. I call it Novel Aquatics. My goal with Novel Aquatics is to be that person for you. 
I want to provide an online space, an online community to where I can do the best of my ability to answer your questions objectively. I want to take cutting edge science, cutting edge research, and answer the most burning questions of the heart of the hobby, and hopefully break all those things down into something usable for you, so you can go home and stress a little bit less about your tank. Additionally, if the science isn't there to answer those questions, I want to be one of the people to help answer them. Community science efforts, I think, have the ability to transform the way that we think about reefing. And it won't only affect reefers, but all of the research that we do as a hobby has the potential to spill over, as well as streamline the path towards ex situ conservation. Keeping these animals in glass boxes to conserve them for the future, in case things in the wild don't end up like how we want them to. I want to unite academia and the hobby, the best minds in both, and have us all get together and come up with community-driven experiments that we can do so we can get the pilot data that they can later run with. I want to also, while we're doing that, answer the questions that we've never been able to answer until now. Many of the biggest names in the industry in terms of testing companies have vowed unlimited testing to me for community science projects. This is truly a multi-omics approach where we can look at the organic chemistry, the microbiome, the inorganic chemistry, the nutrient values, you name it, and we can truly analyze these systems much how modern day scientists can. Until now though, there's been no organizing force for these experiments. I hope to fill that void. So you might be wondering, how is all of this going to be funded? Well, three simple mechanisms. First, is your donations. I'm going to have a website called Ko-Fi, which you can find in the description below. There you can do one-time donations or you can do a subscription-based model. Second is going to be merchandise sales. I put together some pretty funny designs, I think, and I'm going to continue rolling out designs for special events and uh, special occasions. So be sure to always check out the Printful store, which I also have in the description below. And third is sponsorship. But it's not what you're thinking. I'm not going to be every run-of-the-mill influencer. I'm not going to say, sign contracts where I'm forced to say whatever the company wants to you. Rather, if any company wants to do advertising with my platform, I'm going to make them sign a contract that has an invincibility clause. What that means is signing this contract will make it so they cannot interfere with anything that I say. I can say anything I want about their product and they will not be able to sue me. They will be signing that right away. Now, that doesn't mean I'm just going to drag products. I, my goal here is to be as objective as possible, to give you the pros and the cons. But many people that work closely with these companies and sign away their freedom of speech and contracts are unable to say any cons or have any criticism of the products at all. I want to change that. I want to be able to have companies that believe in their products fund this platform and then give me the chance to review them objectively. I'll tell you what I like about them, what I don't like about them, what can be improved in my opinion, and then that gives you immense value because you know that I'm not lying. Now, if companies don't want to do advertising with me, but they like the idea of supporting community science and coral research that can go towards conservation, they can certainly support me without having to sign that contract, but that means they don't get any specified advertising content on this platform. Instead, their name would just be at the end of the video. I would say thanks. They'd maybe get to take place in some giveaways, things like that but their money would be going towards supporting this vision of the industry and moving it forwards, trying to discover the answers to things that we've simply been scratching our heads about for a very long time. I also will always keep content free for you. Regardless what happens, I will never put up a paywall in terms of the content here. I wanna know what questions you have. In the description, I've got a Google form. Now, this isn't going to be a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Rather, if there's something you're confused about, please explain to me what you've never heard answered, what you think there might be a lot of misinformation on, things you want clarity on. This is my North Star. If 50 people say, I want to know about brown jelly disease, or 10 people say, how do I beat a dinoflagellate bloom, then that gives me direction on the content to produce, not for sponsors, not based on what's trending, but based on what can help you succeed and what you want to know most. I can then go 
do academic research, I've got access to all the institutions, bring that research back and explain it to you in a way that can help, that's based on data, based on science, and based on objective fact, not marketing hype. I'm here to be of service to you, of service to the industry, and of service to Coral. I want to use my scientific skills, my research skills, my speaking and production skills to help people. That's what this platform is going to be. But I've also got a lot of fun things I'm planning. As you can see here, plasma lights. I built an entire lab. I'm going to be continuing my research from college with microbiology and coral disease. I'm going to be doing a lot of different types of content in this channel and a lot of different projects. But the main tenets are I'm here to help you, I'm not here to be bought, and I'm here to help bring science and progress to the reef keeping industry and beyond. If you would like to support me today, please click the link in the description. It'll take you to all my social media, my Ko-Fi where you can donate the Printful, where you can buy merchandise. You can go follow me on Reef to Reef, subscribe to the YouTube, the Instagram. And of course, if you have any burning questions, be sure to fill out the Google form so I can know what content to produce first to help you. Thanks for watching today. And for anyone that was worried about if I was going to be leaving the industry, it's safe to say that I'm here to stay. It's time to reef different together.